What's up, everybody? Justin here. My God, what a street fight. Just think about that for a minute. What you just witnessed, that Chicago street fight, that was insane. That was so insane. This is my NXT TakeOver Chicago 2018 review. Unreal. Up first was the NXT Tag Team Titles on the line. The Undisputed Era, baby. Defended. Kyle O'Reilly. Roderick Strong defended for the Undisputed Era. They defended the tag titles against Danny Burch and Oni Larkin. Very good kickoff. Very good first match of this takeover. Very good tag match for the tag titles. It was damn entertaining and it was exciting. I was on the edge of my seat. I predicted Danny and Oni Larkin would win, but they lost. Oni Larkin is a machine. That guy's a wrestling machine. That guy's awesome. Danny Birch, great worker. But Oni Larkin really impressed me. This was, I believe, Oni Larkin's first ever takeover event. And I believe it was also Danny Birch's. They had a good showing. But they came up a little bit short. Still tag team champions Kyle O'Reilly, Roderick Strong, the Undisputed Era, baby. Adam Cole was at ringside. Sadly, he wasn't on this takeover. I would have liked to see him. He didn't defend his North American title, but so what? Who cares? I'm sure he'll be on the next takeover. He better be because he's Adam Cole, baby. And Adam Cole is awesome. I'm a fan of the guy. So Undisputed Era still has a lot of the gold. They have all the gold in NXT except for the NXT Championship. And they don't have the women's title, of course, because they're all men. In the Undisputed Era, guys don't go for the women's title. And the Indies does a lot of intergender wrestling, women versus men, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not a fan of that. I don't, I'm not, I don't like that. I like mixed tags, but not a guy versus a woman. I, I'm not a fan of that. It's, I just think it's stupid and unnecessary and pointless. Anyways, up next was Velveteen Dream Ricochet. Very good. It was not a match of the year, but it was very, very good. It was great. I had Velveteen Dream winning. I'm starting to lose my voice because I did three reactions to TakeOver. Check them out in my 2018 live reactions. They'll be in that playlist sometime tonight. So anyways... The three reactions I did was Ricochet, Velveteen Dream, Alistair, Lars, and Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano. So my voice is pretty sore. Ricochet, Velveteen Dream was the second match of this takeover. And as I said, I thought it was great, but it's not a match of the year. So anyways, so many crazy spots. High flying spots, high spots. Velveteen Dream tried a coast to coast flying elbow and missed. That had to hurt like hell. Very good. It was very good, as I said. I thought it was great. Not a match of the year, though. But it was still great. Ricochet wins. Ricochet gets the win. With his finisher, the... I believe it's called the 630s double flip finisher, which is totally out of this world. To, I mean, just watch it. How can a human do it? I don't know. But Ricochet can do it because he is the one and only 
that can do that. I saw another wrestler do that. I believe in Impact Wrestling, Trevor Lee. I think it was Trevor Lee or Andrew Everett. They also do that double flip. Looks very dangerous to me. If I was Ricochet, I would stop doing it because the guy could mess up and get injured sometime. Anyways, Ricochet wins, so so far my predictions, I'm 0-2. 0-2. Up next was the Women's Championship. Shayna Baszler, who she has a new name. I have given her a new name. It's Shayna Boring. Shayna Boring Baszler defended against Nikki Cross. Love Nikki Cross. Her character is awesome, and she's awesome. She's very good. I wish Nikki Cross would have won. She should have won. Because now we're stuck with Shayna Boring still. Is still your NXT Women's Champion Shayna Boring. So Nikki Cross was in uh, her rear naked choke. She won tap. She won tap. Then she smiled. Was smiling, she was actually smiling. That was awesome. Then she's smiling, and then she went like this and just went to sleep. Shayna, boring Baszler, wins and retains. Hopefully, the next NXT Women's Champ is crowned in the United Kingdom at Royal Albert Hall because out of they're having a fatal four-way women's match. I believe this Monday at Royal Albert Hall is when it's going to be taped. The UK tournament. And whoever wins the women's fatal four-way will take on Shayna Boring Baszler on night two. Hopefully, Shayna loses the title in the UK to Tony Storm. I really think... That should happen. Tony Storm, I predict, will defeat Shayna Baszler and become the new NXT Women's Champion. Will be and should be and better be Tony Storm. So Shayna is still a champ. I don't care about her. She's boring. Nikki Cross is a lot better. Shayna's not a bad worker. She's not bad at all, but... She's boring. Really boring. Shayna is as boring as Roman. But I think Roman is a little less boring than Shayna. Somehow, he's less boring. Up next was the NXT Championship on the line. Aleister Black defending against Lars Sullivan. I did a live reaction for it. I don't like to call it live reaction, but I did a reaction for it. It was very good, very well done, booked, really good. I enjoyed it. Lars Sullivan, I didn't think he would win, and he did not. Aleister Black wins with very awesome-looking black mask that connected right on top of Lars's head, one, two, three. I was surprised that Lars took the pinfall clean. I thought Lars would lose by DQ or count out or something. Anyways. Um, I'm going to check this Twitter poll I did. Uh, maybe I'll just read it now and I'll read it at the end of this review. I asked everybody rate, rate tonight's takeover. One to, one to ten, but I didn't put one in there because this show was not a one. So, anyways, 70% of the poll, 70% goes to giving it a ten. A perfect ten, ten, ten. Poor Ty Dillinger. That guy can't even get on TV. Anyways, 70% gave it a ten. 22% gave it an eight. 9% gave it a 7. And 0% gave it a 5. So I'll go back to the poll. 
before the review's over. So Aleister Black wins, still NXT champion. I was surprised that they had Lars lose clean. Because I didn't think he would lose clean. But he did. I guess they want to push Lars very slowly and not have him win any matches or something. I don't know. Because Lars lost at the last takeover. And he loses again. Anyways, I guess they're going to build up Lars so slowly. Anyways, up next, the main event. Chicago Street Fight. It had it all. It had everything. It had every goddamn thing in it. Except the kitchen sink. But everything else was in it. Tables, chairs, trash cans, stairs, cr crutches. It had it all. I'll just go to the finish. Or near the finish. Johnny Gargano picks up Champa there on these cases like 10 feet near this side of the stage. Two tables are lay laying there. Johnny puts Champa through the two tables. Champa gets busted open on his arm, on his shoulder. He's bleeding a lot. He's screaming like he's really hurt, like he's really injured. Before Johnny put him through the two tables, uh, scumbag Tommaso Ciampa took off his wedding ring, spit on it, and threw it. That was, that was insane. You are a dirty rat for doing that, Ciampa. But it was pretty funny. I, I laughed. I, it was crazy. So anyways, Ciampa then... Doctors come out, EMTs, put a neck brace on him, put him on a backboard, put him on a stretcher. Crowd started chanting, jump, jump. And I thought, during my reaction, I said, I said Johnny should jump on top of Champ on the stretcher. That would have been awesome. It would have got a huge pop. But instead, Johnny takes a stretcher to the ring, takes him out of the stretcher, off of it, throws him in the ring. Puts a Johnny escape on him. The cross face. He's tapping. He's tapping. Johnny handcuffs him. He's tapping. He's tapping. No referee. I believe Johnny punched or pushed down the ref on the stage. So that's why the stupid ref wasn't in the ring to give Johnny the victory. And then Johnny goes back in the ring after... Wrestlers dressed up in suits tried to stop Johnny, he punched them all out. Runs in the ring where the boards, by the way, Tommaso Ciampa ripped the ring mat up, pulled the ring mat up so the wooden boards were exposed. Johnny goes over there, puts his head through the under the top rope. Ciampa grabs him, DDTs him on the wood, DDTs him on the exposed. Wood boards under the ring mat. Falls on Johnny. Referee then decides to show up. That pissed me off. Referee sh shows up. One, two, three. Tommaso Ciampa wins the Chicago street fight after what a hell of a street fight. Probably match of the year in NXT. So now Johnny has a victory over Tommaso and Champa has a victory now over Johnny. So they're tied up one apiece. Takeover Brooklyn. The next takeover. I believe these two will have their rubber match. It'll be Johnny, Tommaso, Champa three. I can't wait for it. One of the best street fights I've ever seen was tonight at TakeOver Chicago. One of the best ever. They did everything. It was awesome. I'll grade, give this TakeOver Chicago 2018, I'll give it a grade of the women's match was the least exciting. Was the women. But anyways, I give it a grade of 
I give it a B plus. B plus. Very good takeover. One of the best street fights ever. Really good. Really good takeover. Gets a B plus from me. What did you grade it? What grade do you give it? Leave your grade in the comments under this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. Tomorrow is money in the freaking bank. I'm excited for it. Bye for now, everybody.